What's the word, y'all? It's your boy J Sites, and in today's tutorial, I'm about to show y'all how to create this little face cutout effect that you see on my screen. Sit tight, tap in, let's get lit. We're gonna be doing this in After Effects, so you know, uh, first thing you're gonna wanna do when you get into After Effects is let's just come over to our footage and let's add mocha now you're gonna hit the big mocha button and when mocha opens up we're gonna hit the x bond tool and we're just gonna make a mask around our subject's face before you exit mocha save it and leave and inside your composition just make a new null by coming to layer new and null but i'm just gonna use this little plugin that i have now i'm gonna select my clip go to tracking data and i'm just gonna hit create track data i'm gonna change the export option from corner pin to transform and then I'm gonna hit layer export to and make it my null. Now I'm gonna hit apply. Now as you can see, my null is attached to my subject's face. So now I'm gonna take the footage and I'm, I'm gonna duplicate it. And I'm just gonna delete Mocha and maybe just rename this. And when I rename it, I'm just gonna make a mask. So I'm gonna take her eye. And as you can see, we just have her eye. I'm gonna duplicate that. I like the mask and just move it to another place. Maybe her other eye, but now I'm gonna make it even smaller. As you can see, we got like a little cutout going on here. You can move this over. Now I'm gonna duplicate the base clip again, make another mask. As you can see. Duplicate it again. Let's make another mask. Now, if I want a different part, oh, select the mask all the way. Just move it just a little bit. You see that? I could turn back on my clip and let's just attach everything to the null, right? Let's take all three of these masks, right? And right, let's just link them to the null. Let's make everything 3D layers now. Let's add a camera. Now you want to highlight all three of your clips and just move them in the Z position at different times. So. I'm going to move this one up here. The first clip, I'm going to move it more to the to the right since it's closer now. And then the second clip to the left. You know what I'm saying? Just to open up the eyes some more, right? This footage, this would definitely look better if your subject wasn't moving as much, but I ain't shoot this video. So you feel me? I'm just showing y'all, you know, how to actually get this thing down packed. So now we want to make the footage 3D. And then we're gonna probably bring the footage back in the Z position. So we're gonna press P on the footage and it's gonna move it down. And we're gonna scale it up some. Feel me? Let's scale it up some more. And then move it back a little bit more. Feel me? So now, if we hit the camera, make a keyframe on a point of interest in the position. Now you're gonna take your cursor to the end of your timeline, hit C, and then just zoom in the camera a little bit. The more cutouts you have, the better this effect will look. You feel what I'm saying? So it's really up to you, brothers. But I'm gonna give this a constant look with just grabbing my keyframes and just moving the left part over here and moving the right part over here. I didn't want it to be too sharp, so I just made this little, you know, this little arch. And I might just want to make it a little closer so I could just, you know, zoom in some more to where the pictures are out of the frame. All right, so now that you have that, look at how you want it to look. Let's do things like, uh, let's do some adjustments. Let's move this up. Now let's add some effects. Um, I'm going to add a drop shadow. You can use the regular drop shadow from After Effects, but I'm going to use Sapphire's drop shadow. All right? Yeah. And then I'm going to paste it to the rest of my layers. And just to give it like more of a grungy look, you can use Film Convert. I have Nyrate, or you can use Pro, whichever one you feel more comfortable using. Now I'm just adding some color adjustments just for the simple fact that uh, I didn't shoot this video and I wanted this to actually look good before I, you know, put it out there. So yeah, feel me? You could complement this with um, the MXM plugin, but if you don't have the MXM plugin, I'm going to show you guys how this looks with the MXM plugin right here. But if you don't have the MXM plugin, you know, you could just make another adjustment layer at posterize time and make the value like 12. And then you could jump into the Drill Essentials pack and drop maybe some blur on it, you know, from the focus and some blur, some flicker, 
you know what I'm saying? Just complement this real well, you know what I'm saying? You can even animate the shapes of the um of the mask, but I'm not gonna do that for the sake of the tutorial. You feel me? I just wanted to show you guys how to get your pictures tracked onto your subject's face. You feel what I'm saying? Um, I'm gonna show you guys some more motion graph effects that you can use for your music videos in the future. Just let me know down in the comments, man. If y'all enjoyed this tutorial, drop a like, comment, subscribe, and I'll be back tomorrow with another one. Very nice, baby.